I-90 is back open tonight after police say someone stole a washed out asphalt truck this morning in Washtucna and then led authorities on a chase. That chase ended with the stolen truck catching fire right there on the highway. Crime News' Nathan Hyun spoke to an eyewitness who saw that chaos unfold. It was supposed to be a normal morning drive for Josh LaCrosse. I didn't know what was going on for a minute. I thought maybe it was just some sort of escort. There was an emergency. The cop wasn't making any real moves. LaCrosse was on Highway 261 when all of a sudden he saw Washington State Patrol cars chasing a washdot truck that had been stolen from the Washtucna maintenance facility. Take a look at your screen now. This is video that LaCrosse took when he was following the pursuit. He said he saw six officers chasing the truck down. I was directly behind them. Uh, we were going the speed limit, going 55 miles an hour. Uh, followed them for quite a few miles. He says he saw police throw out spike strips to slow down the truck, but it took until the fourth attempt to slow it down. I watched the officers make several attempts to go around him, but then they stopped, you know, maybe thinking the vehicle was too big to stop with their vehicles. WSP says the truck began driving up Highway 261, and because of the seriousness of the crime, they decided to pursue it. The pursuit went for about half an hour before the truck was stopped on I-90 near Ritzville. We're pleased that no one got hurt and the suspect was apprehended safely. WSP Public Information Officer Greg Riddell says the pursuit went longer than he would have liked because of the size of the truck. We don't want it to take any time they get something stopped, but um, sometimes they're uh, beyond our control there. Riddell says when the truck came to a stop, it caught fire. The suspect then surrendered to authorities without incident. Traffic completely stopped. I saw smoke for a brief second and then flames shoot up into the air. Police closed eastbound I-90 during the initial arrest, but one lane was open shortly after and I-90 was fully open before noon. I spoke with the Adams County Sheriff's Office who arrested the suspect. They told me the suspect is charged with attempted robbery, armed robbery and assault. They couldn't provide me any further information. In Washtucna, Nathan Hyun, Crime 2 News.